And you can't think about Wichita without the YMCA's in our community. We are everywhere and trying to uh, improve the quality of life for everybody. The Andover tornado left a path of destruction. People inside the YMCA as the storm ripped off the roof and caused extensive damage. I learned next steps for the Y and its members. The sound undeniable. The destruction unforgettable. Everyone making it out unbelievable. It was uh, really just remarkable. That Ron McMahon, president and CEO of Greater Wichita YMCA, recounts the moments the storm hit and commends his staff for getting people inside to safety. The shelter held up. It was a direct hit. The entire inside was completely damaged. There was water damage. Um, if, you, if you recall, the, 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 um, the roof was compromised, so and it rained for two weeks right after that. The damage created a domino effect. We had 135 staff that didn't have a place to go to work, so we've got those, uh, those, those staff uh, jobs throughout our association. Magnifying the bond between branches. The East Y and the North Y are just 10 minutes away, so you know that network is allowing us to continue to serve the Andover community. Working to rebuild the Y and reconnect the people it serves. And we feel and we're here and we're going as fast as we possibly can. And, you know, really appreciate coming out and communicating with them as every time there is an update so that we can keep people knowing that we're, we're pushing as hard as we possibly can to get this thing open. Ron also telling me that they expect the YMCA to be brand new when they finally do get it finished. Of course, they don't expect it to be complete until sometime in 2024. Ronell, you're joining me now. We're standing right in front of this picture that you actually snapped after the tornado. Yeah, that was shortly after the sun came up. You can see the sun shining, you know, on those damaged trees. Unfortunately, a lot of the buildings out there, there were, uh, you know, just a few of us that got first light of, uh, you know, what exactly happened because with that uh, tornado happening, I, I believe it was around uh, 8 p.m. or shortly after 8 p.m., you know, the, the sun went down pretty quickly and then it was dark. I had one of my neighbors wa actually want to go to the Y and want mm -hmm. to go to the neighborhood uh, to uh, help people out, but I said, listen, there's plywood everywhere with nails in it. It's dark. Do not go anywhere. And then if you remember that other uh, part of the storm came in, it was hailing, it was pouring. So it was just a, a, a very unsafe, uh, uh, you know, area just for just about everybody out there that it didn't even take a direct hit. So uh, crazy that it's uh, been a year already. But yeah, tomorrow's the day. And I'm glad you mentioned that because if you were listening to Ron in the story about the YMCA, he actually mentioned that, you know, the aftermath of the tornado, all the destruction it caused, and then reminded people that remember it rained for two weeks after that storm, yeah. which also caused problems for people because they had to pick up a lot of wet stuff. Yeah, yeah, very unfortunate situation. But you, you know, you, you ended uh, the story off on a lighter note talking about 2024 mm -hmm. that's not too too far away we've no. waited this long right mm -hmm. before you know it it's going to be brand new and up running and open so just got to wait a little bit longer